Fuller, the director of theater here at the Barstow School. And before we start today's wonderful concert, I just want to give a little disclaimer of why we're performing a uh, concert entitled All American on top of a, a set that is very not American. <laughs> And I just want to let you know that um, due to uh, weather and some illness in our cast, our upper school play, Journey to the West, was postponed a week. And so we've been working um, out conflicts with the fifth grade and the upper school to both share the space. And so uh, I just wanted to um, uh, explain the set here. And also invite you all to come see the show. We open tonight at 7 o'clock. We play tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And Saturday, we're doing a 1 o'clock matinee. And you can come see the show and then come uh, later to enjoy the auction. So um, please come see the show. And I give it over to the fifth grade and all of our Presentation of colors. Can you all please stand for the presentation of colors? by Susanna King and Lauren Andrews. America, America the beautiful, with courage and freedom and justice we stand. Together we are undefeated and living. With the bald eagle by our side, we live not harmed, but a peaceful life, free.
grade is going to be doing a patriotic project. There were so many thoughts and emotions going through my head. Then I stopped and thought, what would be better than a poem based off a relative at war? I was then thinking, what connection can I make to that subject? We recently did an es essay on the kids' view of the Revolutionary War, how they felt, what changes were made to their lives, and so on. I thought that was a really fun and interesting view that many people don't think about when they hear those words. Life without Grandpa. Can you hear the cannon's fire? Can you see the sh stars shine bright? Can you imagine the sight that one starry night? Um, what a wonder it would be to see the waves crash up against the boat while fighting with my grandpa afloat. I lay in bed trying to fall asleep to the sounds and smells while my grandmother tells the stories of life with my grandpa, wondering if he will ever be back home. Will I ever be able to jump into his buff arms or see the wonderful courage in his heartfelt eyes? Oh, Grandpa, please come home. to help me draw a red, white, and blue design that shows a circle of innovation in America. 
In America, we are successful because we have a freedom to innovate. We will help shape the United States and the whole world for creativity and experimentation. America is a land where everything is being changed every day by innovation. Sometimes those innovations may be successful, sometimes they may fail. I think the reason America is such a great place is because we keep on progressing through our innovation. country. There are rivers, mountains, and other glorious sights. But dive deeper and you find a country rich with history. I have learned through these songs in this unit that America is more than some pretty attractions. Our forefathers united this country over many obstacles and I admire that. America has grown and prospered for a long time, but we had to win our freedom. I can't imagine what Francis Scott Key was feeling when he watched through the night as a war raged around him, or the relief he felt when the flag stood through the night, so much that he wrote a poem that would later become our national anthem. America is great, strong, and true. I am so glad that I live here.
in or worked in any war should be able to be honored. All the people who served in the military, army, air force, or anything else are heroes to this country. When anyone goes to war, they are sacrificing their lives for the country. And to me, that is amazing. But the sacrifice and the hard work that veterans put into our country is awesome. So veterans, thank you so much for what you do for our country.
without a star Free, only want to be free We huddle close, hang on to a dream Please join me one more time in thanking your incredible fifth graders for a fabulous show. And also a thank you to our very talented Christy Mitchell music director and Diane Moore, our accompanist. You know, this is the perfect kickoff for an incredible uh, fourth quarter that your children are about to embark on. The experiences that they will have as fifth graders um, fourth quarter are immeasurable. They are going to end for a great time. Um, and since it is their last performance in lower school, I know we can't even believe it happened so quickly, uh, I just want to say thanks to all of you for sharing your absolutely special children uh, with us through their lower school um, endeavors and through their lower school experience. Um, we've loved having you as parents in lower school. Many of you are still um, remaining as parents in lower school. Some of you are moving into the middle school. They are fabulous children. They've been incredible leaders um, of our lower school this year. So thank you, fifth graders. Thank you.